all right. How you going, guys? I, I, you probably realise I'm in a different position than I'm usually in. Grab my phone out of my pocket. I've been flat out here. Um, basically, revamping this whole shed. And uh, I'm in the middle of just letting the, the varnish dry. Uh, most of it's dry. And uh, yeah, just been having a bit of fun. Making it a bit better, I hope. Anyway, this is All In Brewing Co's. Yeah, the foam's gone down. Um, All In Brewing Co Company? Yeah, All In Brewing Company. They created a wart kit that is pre-done. So basically it's 15, I think it's concentrated a little bit and you've got to add a little bit of water. So you make about 20 litres. Um, so basically we're tasting it today. They did recommend certain hops to use. Um, I can't remember what they were, but I'll put a little thing here to show you what they are. Um, and it smells awesome. It smells really nice, very clean, very beery, <laughs> of course. Um, it's quite sweet smelling, but I'm sure it's not going to be sweet. It has a nice citrus note, almost a banana-y smell. But it's um pineapple-y, bit of um something else in there that's not I can't pick. But it smells great. It smells really, really fresh. Alright, let's taste it, shall we? Wow, needs a bit of carbonating. Uh, yeah, needs carbonation. Anyway, it tastes really fresh, really quenching. It's very sessionable. It's at 4.3 percent, I believe. You going somewhere? Uh, hey, I'm taking a line. Okay. Yeah, sorry. What for? Interrupting your recording. That's all right. <laughs> you later. Catch you later. See you soon. Yep. Sorry, I got interrupted by a family. One of my grandsons leaving now. He, he was here while I was doing all this. He was here um, watching a movie. Anyway, uh, very nice. Uh, I recommend this, guys. It is expensive to do it this way. Uh, if you can brew your own, this is from Full Grains, by the way. This is not a extract or anything like that. If you can brew it, if you can afford to do this, it is a great way of doing it. I mean, what's a slab of beer cost? I mean, this is going to give you twenty liters. A slab of beer is what ten liters. So it's going to give you double the amount with a bit of uh, patience. Anyway, this is really nice, very tasty. I just want to tell you about my shed. Basically, uh, I've been flat out. I have revamped my whole shed. Here's some video as I'm talking. Um, basically, I ripped out the old uh, counter that I had, repurposed it, and made a whole new counter, uh, which gave me more room to move around more room to do what I need to do and I do do a bit of exercising on my push bike and uh, I want to get that started so I can actually get fit again. I've also uh, installed a sink as you guys who have been watching my channel know I have had like a makeshift sink which was an esky on the floor which drained out into the grass out in the lawn so now what I've done is actually plumbed in some pipe work with drainage in them and put a whole double sink in. Uh, I still kept the old hose, that's still working, and it's looking like it's working really well. I've got it pumped out, going out to the drain out the back. And pretty much anything that goes in these sinks is only going to be either dishwashing liquid, which goes in our system anyway, and just water. So, all good. It's going to be pretty safe to put out in there, straight into the storm water, mostly. There's some things I will choose not to put out there, which I can redirect the water and put it where I want. You can put it on my lawn if I want to. Well, one get, lawn gets a bit dry, just pump it out into my lawn instead. It's pretty good. So I'm really wrapped of that. It was a lot of work, took me four days, and I am making a brew video on this, which is probably coming up very soon. And, uh, yeah, so the Shed Series videos are going to start soon. Uh, we've got June, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It'll be June, I reckon, the start of June. It'll be coming. And uh, the first ones are going to be the brew... Uh, brunettes, so beer brunettes. Um, look out for them. They're a Canadian girl, a couple of Canadian girls, and they've got a nice little brewery. So hang on for that. If you want to know about more, subscribe down below. Um, give me a thumbs up and hit that bell. Uh, the, I've no, never say this, but hit that bell because you won't get notified when I do start putting these videos up unless you do that. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you to my Patreons for looking after this channel, as always. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you to you guys for commenting on the list below, which gives me so much inspiration and gets me going. And really, it, it, it gives me some great ideas and gets me 
thinking about how good I can do my breweries if I can. All right, guys. Cheers. Have a great one. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. We'll